Hey, Opinionators! So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing the story, The Days, the Day the Crayons Quit. I'm almost positive we read that story at the beginning of our school year, but I find that it's such a fun story that I wanted to share it again with you guys. And I hope you liked that uh, version I found on YouTube of it. I liked it because the um, narrator, that's the person that's reading the story, he reads it in really funny voices. So I, I enjoyed hearing that story. So today for writing, what we're going to do is we're going to complete our our paper that says my favorite color. So you're going to need this paper printed off and a pencil. All right. So once you have those things, the first thing we're going to do is write our name on the name line. Go ahead and put your name on your paper. Now you can go ahead and do your paper with me if you would like or you can go ahead and do it after the video. It's up to you guys, okay? So if you do it during the video, I might be talking a little bit faster than before you get done with your writing. You can go ahead and pause the video so you can go through the different steps with me. So it says, my favorite color. So I want us to think about, in the, in the story, they wrote, the Crans wrote letters to Duncan. And in the story, they said, like Red said he was overworked because that's Duncan's favorite color. And Gray said um, he was overworked because Duncan really liked to draw elephants and color the whole elephant in gray. So I want you to think, what color is your favorite? Of all the colors there are, what color is your absolute favorite? So personally, I love the color purple. So when it says state your opinion, you're going to write, I like purple. Or you can say, I like red or whatever your favorite color is. So I'm going to write I, and then remember we have meatball spaces, like, and another meatball space, purple. And then we have a period at the end. I like purple. Okay? Then we have to give at least two reasons. If you want, you can also give a third reason about why that color is your absolute favorite. So maybe it, it's your favorite because of something you eat. Maybe it is your favorite because your favorite toy is that color. Maybe it's your favorite because you love the co that color in the sky. Okay, there's lots of reasons why it could be your favorite. So we need to work on two reasons. So I love purple. And then I could say because it is in sunsets sometimes. Have you ever seen purple in a sunset? Those are my absolute favorite sunsets. So I'm going to write... I like purple because it is in sunsets. And then I have a period. So make sure you have your reason, whatever your reason is. And you don't have to write it in a sentence if you don't want to. You could write because... It is the color of my favorite toy or because I like and then a food that it is. Okay, so my second my second reason for why I like purple is I'm going to write because I like purple grapes. All right, so we should have our stating our opinion, what it is, and then at least two reasons. If you wanna go ahead and do a third reason, you can do a third reason as well. And then you're gonna restate your opinion at the conclusion. So I could say, this is why I like purple. Or maybe you're going to say, this is why I love purple, or purple is the best. So you could say, whatever your color is, and then is the best for your conclusion. And then once we are all done with our paper, then what we're gonna do is you could draw me a picture, you could draw a picture for your teacher of the reasons why you like purple. So then maybe in my picture, since I said I like purple in sunsets and I like purple grapes, I would draw a sunset with purple in it, and then I would draw purple grapes. So you could draw a picture to match your opinion writing that we worked on today. And once you're all done with this, I would like you to snap a picture and send it to your teacher. 
thanks boys and girls for tuning in and we can't wait to see your favorite color papers that you guys do. Bye.